we're on a journey into nothingness. We're on a journey towards the black hole. Please fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be quite a ride. This is Peyton 3.0's EDM World News. Take it away. All right, all right, all right, all right, everybody settle down, settle down. This is Peyton 3.0, the EDM and drum step vocalist Zombie Supreme, the queen, the king, the master, the god, chef of the kitchen, cooking you up something sexy to eat. Welcome. If you like what you hear today, please go ahead and hit the like button. I want to thank all my loyal Zombatrons, aka Peyton Natives, for being ride or die to watching every piece of content. And this is every piece of music that I put out in music video. I want to thank you. So today we're talking about, unfortunately, pioneering house music artist Jesse Saunders hospitalized following a stroke. Let's get on, get on into it. Hello, hello there. Welcome, it's Peyton 3.0. I want to try something a little different today. I need to be standing up. Try to keep this body mobile. Anyway, so we're going to get right into the new story. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, all that. Let's get into it. It is a sad day. Saunders is facing a long and difficult rehab after suffering a stroke in the Las Vegas area. Influential DJ and house music producer, Jesse Saunders. Hold on. It's a recording. Is it on? Wonderful. Back to the story. Influential DJ and house music producer, Jesse Saunders has been hospitalized after suffering a major stroke according to chosen few djs a collective of which he is a founding member we have sadly we have to sadly share some difficult news and ask for your prayers and support reads a statement released by collective our brother jesse saunders has suffered a major stroke and is currently hospitalized in the las vegas area jesse will likely be facing a long and difficult rehab and will need the love and support of the house music community to which he has given much. And I forget, how old is Jesse Saunders? Let's look that up. Just a moment to look up how old Jesse Saunders is. Yeah, so he's 60 years old. Yeah. And not putting anything on him. I don't know his life. I don't know what his habits are, his eating habits, his exercise habits. But most likely, he's probably, you know, especially as you get older, you, you really have to do even more to keep the body, you know, um, in great health than somebody who is way younger, you know. Um, but he probably, maybe he probably doesn't really go to the gym that much time. Maybe he doesn't, he doesn't eat the best. He eats the American diet, whatever. But if, if you start doing that and then the years go by and you know, you're getting older, that starts to catch up with you, unfortunately. And strokes are, um, not inevitable, but they're highly on the, uh, they're highly on the board for your body to experience one um if you're not extraordinary basically you know what i'm saying um as somebody who's an older adult so yes but anyway let's get back to the story
Saunders was only in high school when his mentor Wayne Williams invited him to become a part of Chosen Few DJs, a legendary collective forged on Chicago's South Side that is widely credited for pioneering the house music genre. In fact, Saunders himself is considered one of the genre's key originators. His track On and On is prevalently recognized as the first house music record ever pressed. Okay. And I have to mention this. And it is it is important whether you think so or not. Right? He is a black man. And I'm going to say this right now. And this is not to offend any of my people in the EDM community or not. I love you all. But we have to face the ugly monster that sits in our faces. Basically, it has been there for years, but now we try to cover it up, act like it's not there, act like it's not the case when that is that is the case, basically. You know, a lot of things have been stolen from black people, let's be honest. Um and has been made, and I have to say this, and has been made by of course white people. Even if you're not if you're somebody that is white, most likely you are white. Most people in the Indian community are either white. Latin, whatever, you know, there's a very still small percentage of us of uh, black people who even are fans in the Indian community, let alone who are um, artists in the Indian community, in the Indian community, but we're there. Same thing with country, where black people started country, or white people took that over, you know what I'm saying? And, and countless other things, right? We have, as black people, have been thrown under the bus so many times. It's not even funny and stolen from over and over again. Okay. But anyway, we're not really here to talk about that whole thing and get to an ugly debate or conversation because that's not what this is about. It's just acknowledging what it really is as a part to what they make it look like out there. Right. It's pulling the the mask of your, it's pulling the glasses or whatever, the mask of, of your, pull the wool from your eyes and seeing what's really going on. The history of this country alone and where it still currently is, even though really it's only shifted and um, shape shifted into thinking that change has been made, but really it's just shape shifted in a lot of ways, right? It's shape shifted. So it's just about paying attention. Anyway. Saunders in 1982 additionally opened up his own Chicago-based nightclub, which helped foster the growth of house music into what will become a local cultural touch point before going on to become a global phenomenon. So that was Mr. Jesse Saunders. Unfortunately, he is in a hospital with a stroke. You know, he's 60 years old and he does have to take accountability for his own health. And he has to, he can't live like the average American, not saying that he was, I don't know the man's personal life. I don't know what his habits are daily, but the point is um, he has to, if he comes back from the stroke and hopefully he does, he has to step up his um, his game of, of his body and his health. Um, if he wants to live longer, if for whatever reason, he may, his goals may still be at the age of 60 years old, right? Because it's not over just because you're 60, 70. Now, of course, we have to be real about the fact that um, life is getting very shorter for for the ones of us that are up there, up there, up there. Death is coming, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, this doesn't mean that um, you can't be doing the things that younger people are going out there and doing. There are more goals and more things accomplished. Even if you do get your so-called whatever dream, there's more goals and things to reach. But still being, um, having gratitude for what you actually have achieved and actually living in that, but still never being satisfied, okay? 
So thank you so much for being here today, folks. This has been Peyton 3.0, the EDM and drums that vocal is Zombie Supreme, the queen, the king, the master, the god, chef of the kitchen, cooking up something what? Sex to the ease, all right? Thank you so much. Oh, the song in the background, you ass, it's called Smile. It's by me, I wrote it. Um, I wrote this, I vocally produced it myself, of course. Um, I've, of course, vocalized it. I'm on the track. Because, uh, don't get me confused. Like I said, my title is the EDM and drum step vocalist, Zombie Supreme. I'm a vocalist, honey. I rap, I sing, I do it all. I'm even more than that, really. I'm an entertainer extraordinaire, honey. Yeah, yes. Okay, um... We won't get to these social medias. I kind of lost my, my place in thought. And I'm really hoping that Mr. Jesse Saunders survives the stroke. I really do. I really do. Comment below. Let's have a conversation. These are the social medias. Snapchat, because I know you're on it. Sessionslive.com slash Peyton30662. What is Sessionslive.com? For those of you who have not been here but are new, well, that's a place where you can go and you can hear me sing live, request your favorite song. It's like a Twitch, but for musicians or a Discord, but it's just for musicians. Put for five, um, co-founder of Pandora, uh, Tim Westergren, okay? It's just like a Twitch, really. It's gamified like that. You get an avatar, you get a screen name, you put your best email in, but it is just for the musicians, right? Um, and you have to audition in order to even get um, chosen to to become live on there but anyway excuse me i had the burp mm -hmm. you know i'm not i don't apologize well i don't apologize i might say excuse me but i don't apologize honey okay um get three i'm free for only songs from me if i go to the billing link getting on the email list email list is key in this world that we find ourselves in today email is king as we learn this in the marketing world, okay? Email is king, so we can, so we as the, basically the artists, the, the business owners, whatever, can keep in touch with our fan base, our clients, our customers, our guests, um, because we cannot depend on social media alone, unfortunately. Social media is the West, it's gonna change up. They got these robot algorithms that do whatever they want to, and we're at the mercy of it, we can, do, we can we can plot and come around the work ways around it, but at the end of the day, social media is we just we don't own it. So in order for you, if you're if you're interested in getting the message and you know if you really want to support and get like me, my personality and everything you see in here, then go ahead and get on the email list so I can directly contact you. Want to have something important to say and want to include you into to projects and things and whatnot and and and, and you know and, and and more things so anyway thank you for watching this episode of Peyton 3.0's EDM World News I'll see you on the next episode bye bye